The leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress, led by its president, Comrade Joe Ajero, and that of Trade Union Congress, Comrade Festus Usifo, held a meeting with President Bola Metinubu on Wednesday evening at the State House Abuja. Consequent upon the fruitful and frank discussion with President Nubu and their confidence in his ability to encourage open and honest consideration of all the issues put forward by the labor movement, the labor leaders resolved to stop further protests. They opted for further constructive engagement with the government to resolve all outstanding issues as they affect the working people and Nigerians in general. President Bola Metsnubu gave his commitment to the labor leaders that the Portacourt refineries will start production by December 2023 and the completion of the ongoing rehabilitation contract between NNPCL and Italian firm Mare Technomont SBA. President Nubu assured the labor leaders that he would continue to work for the best interests of Nigeria while pleading with the labor leaders to join hands with him to birth a better and economically buoyant country. President Bolamet Nubu has called on the government of the United Kingdom to deepen its partnership in Nigeria and Africa by investing more across sectors to see the African continent attain more sustainable and broad-based prosperity. President Nubu made the call on Wednesday when he received the United Kingdom Secretary of Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs, retired Honorable James Cleverly, MP, in his office. Calling on the UK to commit more to win-win development partnerships for Nigeria and Africa, the Nigerian leader recalled the history of decades of deep symbiotic connection and economic ties between the continent and the UK, adding that the UK government must work with Nigeria and the rest of Africa to create a competitive, technologically advanced economy that will cater for the needs of all citizens. While addressing the present issue of energy transition and the opportunity for economic growth in Africa and Nigeria, President Nubu charged the Foreign Secretary on the imperatives of the West and UK in particular in mobilizing investment to pipe gas from Nigeria to Europe. On democracy, peace and stability in West Africa, President Nubu noted that security would remain a challenge as long as there are unstable governments in the sub-region. He used the opportunity of the visit to decry the situation in Niger, the Sahel region and Horn of Africa, where terrorists are finding comfort, asking the government of UK to support Nigeria to secure West Africa. In his remarks, retired Honorable Cleverly congratulated the president on his election victory and the steps he has taken so far to reform the economy. He saluted President Nubu for taking bold and decisive actions on failed subsidy removal and on multiple foreign exchange markets, which he pointed out will bring development to the country in spite of the current pains. He told President Nubu about his meeting in Lagos with entrepreneurs, technologists, and young people in the creative sector, saying that his home government remains a strategic long-term partner of Nigeria and Africa. The Foreign Secretary further said he was in Nigeria to promote bilateral and economic partnership. On the political situation in Republic of Nigeria, the UK Foreign Secretary offered his government support for the decision of ECOWAS and the leadership of President Nubu in promoting democracy and stability. Thank you.